Yo, what's up guys, Hunter here and today I'm gonna be showing you how to play Bloodborne on PC. As you can see, I have the Ludwig's Holy Blade. I have Bloodborne music, I have blood on my clothes, I have the Hunter set. As you can see, Hunter garb. And um, we also got the blood from, from Bloodborne. My clothes are covered in blood. Her clothes are covered, covered in blood. Uh, we are all a bloody mess. And we also got the... We're gonna have the rally mod. We're gonna have rally. We're gonna have everything from Bloodborne that you you love. And we're also gonna have the dungeons. You can have dungeons also here, here in this mod. So everything is like Bloodborne. Which is amazing. Which is very, very amazing. And I'll show you some tricks later when, when you uh, install the mod. So uh, let's go to install the mod first. So uh, these are the mods that you wanna install, which is the hollow overhaul mod and the Bloodborne Rally mod. These are two mods that we'll, we are gonna use to get the ultimate Bloodborne experience. Uh, we're gonna have also the dash for Bloodborne. So everything is fl from Bloodborne. So um, you'll have to go to the Hollow Overhaul mod and then go to Files. Download this file right here. You want to download this file right here and um, that's it. After that, go back to the Bloodborne Rally mod. Every every link will be in the description of the video. Go ahead and download this right here. You'll need Cheat Engine. If you don't have Cheat Engine, um, then you'll need to download it. And it, download it from here. This is a Cheat Engine table that will enable the Rally mod for us. Okay, and as you can see right here, I have the... Um, hollow overhaul mod over here and then I'm gonna go to my PC I'm gonna locate to my C drive where I can find my program files x86 this is where you will have you will find steam down installed okay and then go to steam folder library and then go to um, to the steam apps folder steam apps and then go to common and then after that, you will have Dark Souls 3 directory. This is the game directory that you want to put the Hollow Overhaul mod in. So open the Hollow Overhaul mod. And then copy all of the files from here inside of the game directory. Okay? So copy everything here inside of the game directory. And that is it. That is how you enable this mod. That is all you need. And then when you go inside of the game, go ahead and open your... Uh, rally mod for cheat engine cheat engine table for rally mod all right and then you'll have this table right here you will not you want to enable the to hook the game go press here and then hook the game through the uh, cheat engine and then enable the rally mod and then after that you want to freeze this right here you want to freeze that make sure they, they are x both have the X mark on them. And then you'll have the health steal modifier. This is the amount of heal healing that you want, depending on your damage. This is 100% of your damage. If you want it to heal a little bit less, you can point to put it to 0 0.0, 0 0.06 to 0 0.05, whatever you want, depending on your, your preference. I would prefer to put it to 0 0.7. And then you also want to, you want to change this the time for the rally mod to five seconds because bloodborne also uh is uh uses five five seconds in in the rally mod in the rally mechanic so this is the uh um setup for the rally mod you can also use the health seal mod but but this will will always increase your health so you don't if you don't want life steal you want rally only you can enable this. Okay, so, but you make, you want to make sure to uh, select health, change hook here. This, you want to freeze that. <clears throat> and then after that, when you go inside of the game, you want to go and look at your menu. Here's, here's how this weapon, he, weapon swap works. As you can see here, I'm using the weapon art to swap between the light moveset to the heavy moveset. But you need to have both of your weapons both parts of your weapons 
equipped at the same time in the right hand. So you need you need two parts for every transformable weapon. As you can see how also here I have the sharp the sharp uh, saw spear. But you can also mix and, mix and match between weapons. As you can see here, I'm having the Ludwig's Holy Blade. But if I change it, you see it changes from the big weapon to the small weapon. But if I equip, like, let's say I equip the saw spear, as you can see. I'm equipping the saw spear right now, but when I do the transform attack, you see, it transforms to the Ludwig Holy Blade. So that's a, that's a cool... That's a cool, uh, you see, and then it transforms back to the saw spear. So this is um, even, I would say, uh, something new to Bloodborne. So you can mix and match between the weapons. You can also do this by changing the small, the big weapon to the small weapon, as you can see here. You see that? I'm switching. Okay, so here if I get hit. You see, I can life steal my my health back, as you have seen before. And that's it. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, make sure to tune in next time, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.